first of four, it's not every day that a new animal is discovered in our backyard, but researchers have identified a new species of squirrel in southern Idaho. And our Jude Binkley spoke with a biologist who discovered the Snake River Plains ground squirrel. Jude, this is uh, pretty interesting here. That's right, Joe, and like its name suggests, this species of squirrel lives along the Snake River Plain in southern Idaho. It was previously thought to be a subspecies of a different type of squirrel until DNA revealed its unique identity. Southern Idaho's sprawling Snake River Plain has been harboring a distinct species of squirrel that's emerged from the underground. We've been kind of working on this, the, the genus this new species is in for um, eight or nine years. Dr. Brian McLean is a researcher at UNC Greensboro who identified the new species, now known as the Snake River Plains ground squirrel. This is an homage to your, your state um, and just kind of trying to say something really about where it occurs and where its niche really is. True to its name, the squirrel makes its home along the Snake River Plain in southern parts of the state in sagebrush and open terrain. Unlike tree squirrels, ground squirrels use their claws to dig and burrow into the earth. This is a species that exists um, in a group that is mostly small bodied, pale colored ground squirrels. They're actually not easy to tell apart from each other. The Snake River Plains ground squirrel was previously thought to be a subspecies of the Paiute ground squirrel, but Dr. McLean and his team discovered there was a difference in their DNA. So it was only through sequencing their DNA, the DNA of multiple uh, specimens from across their ranges in Western North America, um, that we really were able to put all the picture together of where the species boundaries really were. A process that took years of research. This was only through kind of investigating the, the entire group of ground squirrels through kind of an evolutionary lens and a multi-species lens that we really said, hey, this is um, something really distinct and uh, just working to put that description together. Dr. McLean says it's satisfying to have made a contribution to our knowledge of biodiversity. But there's something really, really exciting about making a core contribution just to knowing uh, basic biodiversity, to, to describing a new species and kind of just uh, revealing uh, that for everyone to kind of understand and use. The squirrels live in some areas that are increasingly sought after for development, a reality Dr. McLean says requires thoughtful planning to balance humans and their impact on nature. Taking uh, this new species knowledge into account when, when we're kind of using the landscape and um, trying to coexist with wildlife will be really important. And Dr. McLean says museums and their samples were a huge help throughout their research. And while researchers know these squirrels live along the Snake River Plain, Dr. McLean says since the area is so large, he doesn't think they can be found everywhere along the plains. So Joe Brenda, he says a next big step for work could be going back and looking at populations to get a better picture of how these squirrels really move across the landscape. Well, it also makes you wonder what else is out there that uh, we don't know about yet. We'll find out. I guess. Thank you, Jude. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon.